right? What's up guys? Welcome to a brand new vlog. Your boy was handling some interviews this morning. That's right. I was so tell me more about your previous work experience. What skills and tool sets uh, do you implement in your day-to-day -to, -day to help you optimize organization? Uh, we are uh, hiring a remote inventory analyst because besides margaritas on the rocks, inventory management is the bane of my existence. I hate it so much, I hate it so much, I hate it so much. It's very frustrating. Uh, so hopefully we find someone that can take it off my plate and I can just focus on sour candy. Um, today I'm doing some stuff around the house. So my little battle station right here, it's pretty sick. We got two 32 inch curved monitors, speakers, a bunch of other crap, but uh, it's very crowded because I have so much stuff. So I got some more things to fix it, to upgrade it, to make it so cool. To be honest, it's it's pretty much gonna look the same, but I, I think I think it's worth it. I have no idea. Let's uh let, let, let's do the damn thing. Guys, do you ever think you have a good idea and then you realize that you're just an idiot? That's how I'm feeling right now because nothing is going right. First of all, this desk is only eight inches longer than my last desk, so I don't even know what, like, what I expected it to be that much different. All I gained of spending all this money was this little corner right here. So yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. But I bought some other stuff and nothing is working, right? So these monitors have these little feet, right? But they take up so much space. And I was like, oh, I'll maximize more space on the desk. So I bought this monitor arm but guess what? These monitors, which are already really stupid expensive, have a unique bracket that doesn't work with this. And now I gotta get a freaking adapter. And then I have these fancy ass speakers and you need all this other shit to make it work. So I had this like interface and like a hum eliminator because there's all these cords so it was like buzzing. But I don't remember how I installed these and I can't find it on the internet. And I remember when I first installed this, it was really frustrating, but it's like there's input and output. Which one's in, which one's out? I have no idea. Is it going in the speakers? Is it going out the speakers? I don't freaking know. And if that wasn't good enough, I bought a little drawer from the same company at the desk because they're supposed to work together. And then it doesn't even, it doesn't even line up. It, do, it hits the bracket on the back and it doesn't sit flush. Are you kidding? What kind of design? What is that little, what is that? It hits the, and if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough, apparently there's like three cords that were the exact perfect length on the last setup because now the cords don't reach the computer because the computer's further away because the desk is a little bit longer. <sighs> You're seeing a man lose his mind. You're witnessing it in real time. 2024, whatever day it is, Max Tuning lost his mind because of the desk. <sighs> okay, I've decided to drown my annoyances and sorrow in some high calorie food. So in Texas, there's this restaurant chain, this group of restaurants called Papa's, okay? Papacitos is the Mexican, they have Papa's Burgers, they have Papa's Steakhouse, they have Papa's Seafood. And for the first time ever, we are gonna try Papa's Barbecue. Will it be the best barbecue in the world? I have no idea. All the other restaurants are 10 out of 10. So if this isn't a 10 out of 10, it'll just add to my already annoyance for the day. But I got high hopes. All right, we got the pulled pork sandwich. I feel like that's the, the traditional classic. The sauce sweet original. Put that on there. Gotta make sure it's extra saucy. Presentation value, pretty good. I was hoping that they would have uh, some magahitas here because all the other restaurants do. They don't, so they're gonna get a knockdown for that. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me get close here. I don't know. That's gotta go, yeah, it's gotta go weird. 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Bye. Uh, uh, first my desk, now my frickin' barbecue sandwich. Next, our pets' heads are gonna fall off. And that is that. We have done a little more upgrades around the house. I, I know every single video is like house upgrade this, house upgrade that, but I've like fallen in love with this home again with just like minor little tweaks that aren't crazy expensive. I know they kind of add up, but I'm, you know, we like re mulch the whole area, got some new plants put in, been putting these little uh, solar powered lights everywhere, the lines, the, the yard, and I just like, I don't know, this house for a while, it tested my, I mean, it, 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 it tested my fucking patience, man. But now, I'm loving it. We're just, these little, little, little simple changes. Some new plants here, some lights there. Actually, I need your opinion, because there's something big I want to do. Not that big. It's like Max's calves big, so kind of small. I want your opinion. I want your opinion. All right, the next upgrade I want to do is some entryway ones. Uh, I already have like this like chandelier I want to put in there, which I'm not going to show you yet because I want to have more content for the future. But I bought these sconces, okay? Now these are essentially wall lights, and I want to put like one on this side and one over here. And I have this like more like traditional looking one where you can see the light bulb. And then I have this modern one that has two lights, so it shoots up and down like a freaking laser beam, and you can't see the light bulbs. And I want to know which one looks cooler. So I need your opinion. So we have, it's a little small, isn't it? That's what she said, that's all right. Uh, so we have traditional, okay, traditional, or modern. Modern, traditional. Traditional, modern. Wh wh which, which one do we go with? Do we go with the modern, do we go with the traditional? I, uh, I feel like I'm comfortable enough with you. I feel like we're all comfortable enough that you can decide the fate for this house. I'm so comfortable with you guys, it feels like I'm laying on a Helix mattress when I talk to you. Wait, stop, stop, stop. You guys don't know about Helix mattress? Oh my God, well luckily they're the sponsor of today's video, so let me tell you about them. 10 out of 10 ad integration, I tell you. Helix makes premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs. Everybody is different and Helix knows that. That is why if you go on their website, they have this amazing little sleep quiz. You answer a couple questions about your sleep style and your body type and bada boom, bada bing, Helix will choose the perfect mattress that is just for you. What's great about Helix besides everything is that it ships to your door for free in the United States. It comes rolled up in a box. It is super simple to put together. And unlike a lot of other mattress brands, Helix mattresses contain no fiberglass which can be harmful for your health and now I know what you're thinking Max what if I don't like a mattress that I bought on the internet well guess what you can have a 100 night sleep trial with Helix that's over three months to test it out they have a 10 year warranty and flexible payment plans and financing options so a great night's sleep is never far away Listen, I love my Helix and I think you would too. If you are in the market for a new mattress, try out Helix. Just head to helixsleep.com slash max and click that first link down in the description to get 20% off plus two free pillows. That's helixsleep.com slash max. Click the first link down in the description. Get 20% off your new Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Wow, what a deal. Now let's get back to the vlog. We got Christian special <laughs> guest here, not taking his shirt off. I wanted to show you what I'm working with right now. This is this is three three weeks into the. We're getting the light. This is like a month yeah, after barely really working out. Am I? Sh Do I look like shit? I don't think I look like shit. You look about the same, I think. No, I, I, I've always a little like, softer, a little softer. You look pretty good, bro. You think I look good? Yeah. I'm like a sack of potatoes, you know. But we're lifting smart. We're not lifting with our ego. But in two weeks. I'll get another fucking hernia, I don't care. <laughs> Actually, there's something I wanna do that I'm willing to risk. Risk the biscuit for it. Risk it all. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it, 
we're gonna try it anyway. This is Max's idea. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been too long since you've seen the backflip bros reunite. Don't forget, never forget. Can you, I, I is, is a backflip, is that, is that hernia, is that core? I don't, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but I think you're all right. I'm a, I'm, 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 a, I'm a backflip bro. I'm gonna throw a gainer. A gainer? I know, I, I, I just met her, but I'm gonna throw a gainer. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Oh, God! <laughs> Redemption! No, I can't! I'm, I'm gonna throw a better backflip. Yeah, yeah, I can just do a regular backflip. No, I got I gotta hit this gainer. I gotta hit this gainer. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, so it's, David is it's back. It's been a minute. Potato Nation. Been a minute. It, is, it has been a minute. So now that you've officially moved back to the United States, how does it feel? It feels like the right decision. Spain was a dream. We loved it. If y'all saw the podcast, you heard, but would you say would you say that you failed at living in Spain? <laughs> That's kind of a beta move, dude. We took a risk. David, David couldn't even make it in Spain, dude. Bro, dude, we took a risk. We tried. It, just, it wasn't going to work out with the businesses. It Bro, actually I don't, I don't regret it. No, I don't regret it. It was a different life. We tried it for a year and a half. You're thinking about moving somewhere. I think, I think everyone should, And you moved away from where you grew up. I truly believe like every guy, every girl... You got more girls following you. <laughs> what do you have? Like fifteen percent girls following you? Maybe maybe, maybe fifteen <laughs> girls. Maybe, yeah. maybe. I, I probably got three. <laughs> so one of those is Taylor. <laughs> but I think uh, I think when you move, like you wouldn't have gotten to where you are now if you'd stayed in in Virginia. You know, I feel like it's part of life. You got to move away from from where you grew up. Yeah. Even though when we moved to Spain, we had already moved to Texas. You know what's wild is like I, I'm mm. all about that, but it's yeah. interesting because me moving to Texas, yeah. everyone here. Yeah. They don't like Taylor, Joe, Shawley, Christian. Mm. Everyone has been born and raised in the same area. They'll never, they'll never move. Whereas we're like, yeah, you gotta move. But like, not all my friends here. <laughs> now the Texas people, they can stay here. I do think that I haven't told this to your audience, my audience. I do think when I moved from Boston to Texas and I got exposed to you and Christian and Shawley, because at that point, y'all's businesses were doing like crazy more than me. Yeah, like six hundred million a piece. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that opened up my mind to like, man. Maybe I can aim a little bit higher. Maybe I'm not actually crushing it yet, you know? What does that go to show you guys? If you interact with your boy Maxi Poo, your life just gets better. It is what it is! Okay, so I was gonna wrap the video up because uh, we're all headed out to dinner. Christian, Heidi, Joe, wait, no, not Joe. Damn, Joe didn't get invited. Uh, yeah, we're all going to get some dinner and um, I'm gonna bring you along. We're gonna keep this party going. Check out my outfit. This is a top from a company called Cuts. I did an interview with the owner on the Don't Be Sour show, and uh, they sent me a bunch of their stuff. It's really, really nice. Uh, we got some white pants. I know, going crazy. And then the Gucci loafers. Max, you're so fancy. What are you, a streamer, dude? Next thing, you're going to be buying necklaces and Rolexes, baby. No, 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 no. Maybe. No. Maybe. Christian! <gasps> hello, Nana! Hello! Hello, pretty girl! Hello! Hello! Yo, yo! Yo! <laughs> Feels like the old days, man. I know. <laughs> Feels like it was just yesterday. I was staying here for like a month on end. You know what's crazy? is like the room I used to stay in was there, and now there's no. Hold on, hold on. You ever. You stayed upstairs? Yeah, I stayed here all. You don't remember where I slept? I always thought you were downstairs. No, I slept in the room, but Christian, <laughs> there there used to be a hallway and a door here, and he turned. And Heidi and I were banging right over here. <laughs> you have sex with Heidi? That's crazy. Yeah, we should try with Taylor. Arriba, abajo, el centro, para dentro, el drinko, para dentro is right, but. Mmm. <coughs> I don't even taste it. They still need to talk to me. Yeah. But it's like, it was like, you know what I mean? You guys didn't think I would pick the pink place? Hey. Hi. How was the event? Welcome. Good, great. Come on in. I love Everybody. you. I love you. Cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always get a Moscow mule. It's a classy drink. It's delicious. You can get it everywhere. Wait, is, is it tastes really good. I'm filming a video. I think they mixed them up. I think, that was, I think this is the Moscow mule. 
Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Like try this. Tell me it's in a Moscow Mule. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me try this. It's a margarita. Oh! That's a margarita. That is, that is a spicy. Oh! <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> That's yours. Those are my extra limes, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, a spicy margarita is so terrible. That was so bad, bro. Bro, this is delicious. All right, guys. So, Gucci Loafer Max decided to get a little bougie tonight. Get the Wagyu. Normally, I wouldn't splurge like that, but I heard it's amazing here. We got the peppercorn sauce. Let's try this bad boy out. Medium, of course. Mmm. Tender. Delicious, and here's something else. I've my entire life, I've thought Brussels sprouts legitimately were like the most disgusting vegetable ever. I thought they smelled weird, looked weird. I've never been a fan. This is probably my, my fourth time ever eating them. I think I like them now. What? Yeah, tar grilled Brussels sprouts, they're good. You like them? Try one, bro. Eat one, eat one, eat one. Oh man, eat one. Yeah, yeah. I've never tried one. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Get in there. We gotta fold this Go. Back. Read some books. David, I'm not showing the car, but I'm hearing the, the, the roar. It's sick, right? No one knows what David. You, oh, you shit. Can, no, no, you I, can show I, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can show right there. What car is that? What car is Comment that? Comment below. What car is that? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, hey man! Hello! 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 Hey man! Hello! Alright, back at home with Mr. Dude. By the way, we tried this whole like uh, summer cut thing, right? So we had him trim Dude's mustache much shorter, but they trimmed his beard short. It, it, they did exactly what we asked. But I think dude looks kind of goofy because his, his head is so much smaller than his body. <laughs> dude, it's okay, man. I still think he looks super handsome, but uh, we're definitely going to let his face cry a little bit. You look nice. You look really, really nice. You look nice. But uh, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next vlog next week. We got a lot of cool things coming up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash thumbs up button. Eat more sour strips and ever forward. <gasps> Woof! Hey man, I love you. You got an eye boogie, dude. Hold on. I, I got an eye boogie. Ew! Are you trying to lick it, you weirdo?